Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Disappearances video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's start a whole new series here. This one based on one of your newer suggestions. Please keep them coming. I'll probably do about another four or five videos in total and then give this series a brief rest. So thank you so much for those suggestions. This first one here is very intriguing in the fact that it has to do with a disappearance that has some very cryptic circumstances surrounding and not just with a third party but almost that tiny bit of information that just need is needed in order to get the true answers even when i was reading all this info i kept thinking to myself if there was just that one tiny bit of info to connect the dots that could truly lead to the whereabouts of this young man and that's what makes it so frustrating um it seems like it's almost there just within grass but at the same time infinitely far away so it has to do with this it's the mystery and disappearance associated with this gentleman known as adam hecht so who was Adam Hecht, or who is? Because uh, even though no one knows his whereabouts, he very well could still be alive. Adam Hecht is, or was the son of a famous movie producer, a gentleman by the name of Harold Hecht Sr. And the way the story goes was, even though Adam wasn't in the movie business, at least around that time, up until his disappearance, he was a tennis instructor. And by all accounts, he was intelligent he was of sound mind he was someone that seemed to be happy with life he was hanging out with friends he was hanging out with his family in fact up until that point up to uh, where things start to get cryptic back in July uh, January 10th 1989 everything seemed perfectly fine but on that day that's when things went downhill so the way the story goes is this on January 10th 1989 Adam was at a restaurant with his brother a guy by the name of Harold Jr. And when they went there at that breakfast, they had breakfast, but then they noticed that there was a homeless man right outside. For whatever reason, Adam decided to leave his table, actually go outside to meet the homeless man, talk to him. Uh, uh, during this time, though, uh, Harold Jr. was not knowing, of course, what was going on and not being able to hear exactly what was happening outside. But after a couple of minutes, then Adam walked back in. And then when Harold, his uh, brother, asked him about you know what occurred he didn't provide any answer in fact he basically refused to give info associated with this so it was left at that at least inside the restaurant but once they exited uh, the brother saw that Adam once again went to talk to this man whoever this homeless man was and then that's when during the discussions it was revealed that this homeless man's name was Tony and one would think that that'd be it um, in most circumstances involving dealing with unknown parties it's almost like a one-off type situation but no in this case as it turned out going forward beyond that date uh, Adam ended up becoming very friendly with Tony so whoever Tony this homeless man was um, right from that very start right with that very first date uh, going forward they seem to be very close to each other so much so that eventually Adam actually invited Tony to move him to him it seemed like this was very quickly too like probably within a short time period um, no exact date that I could find but definitely made it seem like it was almost within weeks and this was a very much a shock to the family because to them this was just a homeless person someone that was a complete stranger and at least to to, to the to the son Adam someone that he didn't know even before that particular date but now all of a sudden Tony is being invited to move in with him this was um, brought about to the family because at one point Adam brought Tony over directly to meet the family and he got to meet his mother uh, mother by the name of Martine and she of course was a little offset by what was occurring confused not understanding what was going on things got even worse though whenever they had a dinner a family dinner and there was Tony the homeless man there eating with them and he was almost talking in a weird cryptic sense waving his hands over his food almost as if it was like a special blessing of some sort um, and so this was definitely making the family uncomfortable and much to their chagrin it started uh, their friendship started to grow even more and more and they knew that whatever this Tony was he was not someone that was a good influence to him in fact apparently later on they found out that him and Tony uh, would go over to Skid Row back in Los Angeles there in 1989 when you're looking at some of the pictures here during that time period Skid Row is definitely not a place 
to be during certain times. And in this case, here they were hanging out in that location, him with uh, Tony, the homeless man, uh, now his best buddy. And this was, of course, something that the family did not approve of. Uh, they were still just confused. Um, I'm sure his friends were as well about what was happening because here he was, the son of a very famous movie producer, presumably pretty wealthy as well. And yet here, Adam was there in Skid Row, hanging out with Tony along with everyone else there. In fact, it was stated that at one point, whatever activity was happening there in Skid Row caused harm to Adam when he burned his hands. Apparently, they were having some kind of special ritual together. That was mentioned several times, in fact, too, the info that I looked at. Whoever this Tony was, he seemed to have like almost this mystic sense surrounding him, something that was uh, very much trying to do rituals, uh, stuff involving magic, just talking in cryptic words, stuff like that. And so that was also very offsetting for others. Cut to June of that year, June 10th, 1989. And apparently, after a couple of days, the family hadn't heard from Adam. They were concerned. They wondered what was happening with him. So the brother, Harold Jr., went straight to the apartment and when he knocked on it, he didn't find Adam there. Instead, of course, he found Tony. There he was there just sitting, doing something there, whatever it was. And when he asked where Adam was, Tony said he didn't know, nor did he know when he'd be back. He basically uh, kept things very mysterious at that moment. A couple of days later, with Adam still not heard of, the mother came over, Martine, and when she tried to get some answers, she was completely taken off guard by the fact that Tony then tried to kiss her and then told her that he was now her son. So quickly things were escalating right then and there. Uh, the family eventually, within a short time period, then decided that Tony was uh, not giving them all the right info. And then also Adam was clearly missing. So they reported him missing to the police and then somehow got Tony evicted from that location. I imagine that since his name wasn't listed on that apartment that that's how they were able to truly evict him and so there it was the authorities decided to do an investigation to try to find the whereabouts of adam remember this was someone that earlier in the year was uh, just perfectly young normal young man to somebody that was just there uh, from a rich family of sound mind happy no thing that would indicate any kind of circumstance leading to this and within that short time period within that summer time period there he was now hanging out in skid row and then now just completely gone disappeared from everyone's whereabouts and so the authorities tried to find and invest you know answers during an investigation but um, unfortunately no evidence was ever found of course they questioned tony right up front the family was persistent on making sure that hey you know they thought that he had something to do with Adam's disappearance that he was responsible for. Tony mentioned he had nothing, no whereabouts, no knowledge of, of where Adam was. And despite all the questioning the police had, they couldn't pin anything on Tony. And it's just the way sometimes things go. Whenever someone doesn't have the specific info needed, then they can't, uh, law enforcement cannot really have someone held up to a certain point without things getting uh, into a bad thing legal wise. And then also they can't, you know, make claims against someone if they don't have the evidence associated with it. But the investigation did bring something. They did find Adam's car. Now, this was a car that was apparently a rental car <clears throat> that was located somewhere there on a Beverly Hills street about one month after he vanished. I can't it was like contradicting because either his regular car was broken down or it was someplace else and Adam rented this one. But either way, it was a rental. And how they knew that it was there for a while was because there was a large number of parking tickets right on the windshield. Each of them, of course, indicating a specific date. And so they, they were able to showcase based on those dates when exactly he went missing. But nothing was found of him being around that area. The keys were in the ignition. His wallet containing all his information everything was there his jacket was even there as well it just seemed to be like one day when adam decided to disappear he went straight to that area parked his rental car there and then just got out left everything there as is keys wallet jacket just left and then that was it no one ever knew of his whereabouts after apparently not even tony in that case considering how much he was questioned and he wasn't able to provide 
any direct answers to it. So to this day, Adam's whereabouts are completely unknown. No one knows where he's at. No one has ever been able to find any info associated with his whereabouts. Nothing. Uh, authorities apparently still have uh, some kind of tracking stuff that you'll see like here like these websites that try to showcase uh, more info um, there has been aged regressed uh, photos associated with Adam as well to try to find what uh, you know what he might look like today from their stance though they have to state that this is more on the lines of a voluntary disappearance rather than a forced one because again considering how they went through their investigation it didn't seem like anyone grabbed Adam and just kidnapped him and took him away everything seems to be a voluntary disappearance but the family is of course adamant they have a very strong belief that he was murdered or he was abducted or something along those lines something far more nefarious and that the missing link is tony like he has the answers the true answers but for whatever reason it's it cannot be taken from him and at least uh, from a legal standpoint they can't claim anything towards him at the same time like anything as far as convictions or something else if you want an update essentially of uh, the last thing associated with tony about a year after adam disappeared the brother harold jr ran into him one more time on the streets and then there he wanted to find out the answers you know he wanted to know what exactly happened to his brother adam and all tony said was one thing he said if he stayed on the streets long enough then he would find his answer and then that was it that's the last whereabouts associated with adam and presumably with tony as well isn't it frustrating hearing all this information it seems like the answer is so close isn't it like there's just one single link that just has to be found and then the true whereabouts of Adam can be can can be can be associated, but to this day, uh, no strong suspects, nothing in terms of any motives, nothing. It seems like it's all still a voluntary disappearance, but uh, people are still looking for him to this very day. But if anyone has any more info, something else I might have missed as far as the disappearance or what led up to it, then please post those comments below. Uh, and yes, I'll continue to do more of these videos soon, so please be on the lookout for it. All right, everyone. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.